Module 3. What an experience. You say what a or what an when you are surprised or excited. Experience. The different things that you go through in life. Like when you go parachuting. That is an experience. Wow. What an experience. Discuss. Can you think of any unforgettable moments in your life? Unforgettable. Unforgettable. You can't forget it. Time that you will always remember in your life. Yes. I remember the day my father got me my first bike. Got is the past of get. Get. Got. I was so happy. How do new experiences make you feel? When you try something for the first time, how do you feel? Do you feel happy? Not happy? I feel excited. When you are excited, you're happy and interested in the new experience. 3a were you scared the cat is scared scared is a feeling where is the past of are you ask are you scared if it's now if it's in the past like yesterday you don't say are you scared no were you scared one vocabulary Match the pictures with the phrases, then listen and check your answers. A. A scared cat. This cat is scared. A happy boy. Now this is easy to find. This boy is happy. An excited man. Excited. This man is excited. He is happy and he is interested in something. A sad cat. Sad is the opposite of happy. Not happy. Sad. Surprised children. Surprised. These children are surprised. An angry man. Angry. This man is very angry. When you are angry, you feel like you want to hit someone or break something. Angry. This is why you shouldn't be angry. A funny boy. When a boy is funny, he makes you laugh. Look at him. He is funny. Now, if I hide all the captions, can you still say all the new phrases? Let's try this. This cat is not happy. Sad. Happy. The boys are surprised, surprised, angry, excited, excited, scared, funny. The boy is funny. Read. Look at the pictures. What's wrong with Bill? What is Bill's problem? Look. He was asleep. And now he's awake and there is a mummy. I think that Bill had a nightmare. Nightmare. A very bad dream. A dream that makes you scared. Now listen to the dialogue and find out. Then read it out in pairs. Ali is sleeping over at Bill's house. Hmm. Mm, no. No, don't. Bill, wake up! Huh? What? Oh, it was just a dream. Are you okay? Was it scary? Yeah. We were all in a museum. Who was there? Me, you and Tom. Was it like the boring museum on our school trip last week? No, it wasn't. It was full of interesting ancient Egyptian stuff like mummies. Mummies? Yeah. And listen to this. We were in a big room and there was a small door. It was open and there were some steps. 
At the bottom of the steps there was a room with a mummy in it. Was it alive? Yes. And suddenly Tom wasn't there. He was the mummy. It was terrible. I was so scared. Huh? What was that? It's a message from Tom. No. It can't be. What's wrong? Look at the message. Hi, Bill. You were in my dream. I was a mummy. It was terrible. Now read with me. Ali is sleeping over at Bill's house. That means Ali is spending the night at Bill's house. Mm, no, no, don't! Bill, wake up. Wake up is what you say to someone who is asleep. Wake up, wake up. Huh? What? Oh, it was just a dream. It was only a dream. Was is the past of is and am. Were is the past of are. It is a dream means now it is a dream. It was a dream in the past. It was only a dream. A dream is the things you see when you are asleep. Are you okay? Was it scary? Scared is a feeling. The cat is scared. Feeling. Scary is why you feel scared. I am scared because the dream is scary. Yeah, we were all in a museum. Like we said, were is the past of are. Museum is a place where you can see cultural, historic, or scientific objects. Who was there? Me, Bill, you, Ali, and Tom. Was it like the boring museum? Not interesting museum on our school trip. A school trip is when students go together and visit a place. Last week. Last means the previous. We can say last Sunday means the previous Sunday. Last month. The previous month. No, it wasn't. It was full of interesting ancient Egyptian stuff. One more time. Full of interesting ancient Egyptian stuff. Full of, it had a lot of interesting ancient, very old ancient Egyptian related to Egypt. Stuff, things, very old Egyptian things, like mummies. This is a mummy. Mummies? Yeah, and listen to this. We were in a big room, and there was a small door. It was open. The door was open, and there were some steps. These are steps. At the bottom of the steps, this is the bottom of the steps, there was a room with a mummy in it mummy inside the room. Was it alive? Alive is the opposite of dead. Dead? No. Alive. Was it moving? Yes. And suddenly, it happened quickly and unexpectedly. Tom wasn't there. He was the mummy. The mummy was Tom. It was terrible. It was very bad. I was so scared. That's the sound of a message. Ah, uh, what was that? It's a message from Tom. Message is the text you get on your phone. It's from Tom. No, it can't be. That's impossible. What's wrong? What's the problem? Look at the message. From Tom. Hi, Bill. You were in my dream. I was a mummy. It was terrible. That means Bill and Tom had the same dream. That's impossible. Now read again and answer the questions. Who was in Bill's dream? It's right here. Me, Bill, you, Ali, and Tom. Where were they last week? Now this is where and this is were. 
Where were they? Where were? Where were they last week? They were on a school trip to a museum. What was in the museum in Bill's dream? Ancient Egyptian stuff. Very old Egyptian things like mummies. What was at the bottom of the steps? There was a room and there was a mummy in it. Why was Bill scared? Because the mummy was alive and Tom was the mummy. Who was in Tom's dream? Right here. It was Tom and Bill. 3. Grammar. Past simple of the verb be. Look. There is a banana on the table. Nyum, 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 nyum. There was a banana on the table. Look. There are oranges on the table. Nyum, 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 nyum. There were oranges on the table. Was is the past of am and is. In the present, we say there is. In the past, we say there was. We use that with I, he, she, and it. I was at the museum yesterday. Now, I am at home. Now look. Tom and Ali are in the park. Now, they are, they are in the park. Where are they? Tom and Ali were in the park. Now, the sentence is affirmative. To form negative sentences, we say, Bill wasn't in the park. He, Bill, wasn't in the park. Wasn't is short for was not. He was not. To form questions, we start with the verb be. Was Bill in the park? If it's in the present, we say is now. Is Bill at home? In the past, was Bill in the park? We can answer with yes, yes he was, or no, he wasn't. We can ask with where, to ask about somebody's whereabouts. Where was Bill? He was at the museum, not at the park. Now complete with was, wasn't, were, or weren't. Where we have you. Where were you yesterday? Were you at home? No, I wasn't. I was with Andy. We, we were at the museum. We are asking about the museum. It was the museum good? Was it good? Yes, it was. Dan and I, we have two people. We, Dan and I, we were at the new skate park last weekend. Was it, was the skate park exciting? Yes, it was fantastic. It was great. Yesterday, there any people? Now, people is plural. They are people. There weren't any people in the park because it was the weather was cold and windy. The weather was cold and windy. 4. Speak. Go to page 65. Now we are on page 65. Talk in pairs. Look at the pictures and ask and answer questions using the prompts. These are the prompts. First, you ask about the places. We have three places. We have the zoo, the library, and the bus stop. And then you ask about the feeling, how people felt. Were they happy? Were they scared? Like this. One of you ask, Where were Ahmed and his friends yesterday? Use were 
We have Ahmed and friends. Where were Ahmed and his friends? They were at the zoo. Were they scared? Look at them. Yes, they were. Now student B asks, Where were Adam and Mark last week? They were at the library. Were they excited? No, they weren't. Look at them. They weren't excited. They were bored. Where was? We have one person. He. Where was he? Where was Mr. Miles yesterday morning? He was at the bus stop. Use happy. Was he happy? Look at him. No, he wasn't. He was very angry because the bus was late. 5. Write. Write a few sentences about where you were. Where you were. The place you were. Last Friday. Use the ideas in the box and the questions given. We have five places to choose from. We have the park, the cafe, the art gallery, the restaurant, and the museum. Now, where were you last Friday? I choose the restaurant. I was at the restaurant. Who were you with? Were you alone? No, I was with friends. How was it? Was it good? Was it interesting, boring, exciting? It was exciting to eat out with friends. Were you scared, bored, surprised? Well, I was angry because the food wasn't the food I ordered. I ordered pizza and they got me pasta and it wasn't tasty. Now, write these sentences. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.